broadcasting it's called? Do what? To broadcasting. It's this, these oh, okay. videos. You were, you were watching the broadcast? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And okay. um, anyways, um, I was uh, noticing um, that the man that was speaking um, says that uh, their new teaching is, is he said it's, uh, well, this is exactly what I said. I wrote it down because it really stuck out to me. He said, when Jehovah makes something known, it is often at the annual meeting where it is announced. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? Yeah, or, yeah. Or broadcast, right? Uh-huh. But okay, then in some see? other, I noticed that some other times when they refer to their teachings, um, they call it like um, an understanding or what we thought or what some thought or um, things like that. Um, was those things not um, what Jehovah was revealing at that time? I mean, did you get the point that, I think you brought off the, uh, the point that even Jesus' disciples didn't have a lot of understanding, you know? And, they, you know, even the first century Christians, um, a lot of stuff wasn't revealed to them. Oh, um, I'm not talking about things they didn't know. I'm talking about um, spreading it earthwide as something Jehovah has made known to you. I don't, I don't think they did that. You know what I mean? Can you speak up? You're, you're fading out a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. better, I'm better. Thank you. <laughs> so do you see what I, the question is? I mean, it's, you know, I, I've been reading um, their stuff. And like, to me, I kind of notice that when they talk about past things that they had to change, like sometimes to the opposite and sometimes even back and forth a couple of times, um, they don't call it what Jehovah made known, but at that time they did. So it's kind of like, this like mind game, like they reclassify it as a, just, just our thought, just trying to figure out what the Bible says. But then now um, to, to get like this incredible authority, they say it's like Jehovah is talking to them, you know? Did you ever think about that? You mean using his Holy Spirit to reveal things? Yeah, yeah, time? yeah. That's what that's what they claim all the time for all their teachings, except when they have to change them. And then they talk about the, the past one. Uh, they say it was the art and understanding. So, um, but you know what? When you look back at that time when they put it out, they said the same thing that it was from Jehovah. Like they used to call it meeting. Well, this Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 Works through his so Holy why Spirit. why did it end up not to be true? Is, is what I'm asking. Oh, oh, okay. You're you, saying why did things if they were, if they said things why did they get through? Uh, if they said things as, as being from Jehovah, yeah, yeah, and then they change it and. Like what? Well, I mean, do you want to see the whole list? I I have one. Yeah. Okay, I can send you the link to it. It's 142 uh, pages. So wait, okay. So are you interested in learning? Or are you just trying to look for some picking at our teachings? I don't uh, know. I'm just I'm just I'm just wondering. Yeah, you know, it's just confused. It's confusing me because I'm not sure if it's really from Jehovah because they said that about other things in the past, like. For one example, and this is, there's more recent ones too, but, you know, they said yeah. in their books um, that 1925 was more marked in the scriptures, much more clearly than 1914. 1925. What, what book were you reading that from? Oh, I'd have to find the reference. I don't have it memorized. Okay. But, um, yeah, I mean, things like that, you know, and, and saying it's proper to worship Jesus until the 1950s. I mean, that's a pretty... You know, they, they, they said all their teachings were from Jehovah and that Charles Russell was the final messenger of the church and things like that. And they, did you ever notice they equate themselves like with Moses? Like, if you don't agree with them, you're like Korah, you know? I mean, and well, then they yeah, claim yeah. not to be a prophet. So you cannot really say yeah. both, you know? So I, I'm assuming that while you're calling is you're fine, trying to find fault with the organization. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I, I look at it this way, that, that I, I put full trust Right, we're right. Being, we're uh -huh. being fed. We're being fed. Right. Okay. Did did the people in the past change. also have that full trust? Because they say such yeah, a. Yeah, it's like if yeah. you don't have full trust in something, then yeah. why do you even have why have faith? You know? Yeah. I mean, if you're there, you have faith that Jesus Christ is is leading the congregations today. 
Yeah. If you have full oh, trust, okay. this is, I guess that's kind of my question. Like, why do you, because they, they're doing this mind game. It's like, it's like a yeah. word game, you know, well, like, have you ever thought about that? No, I, I just think that they, they, they get together and, 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 and what they, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I've been in since 1970. Some of the books, I had a hard time understanding the prophecies and that they always went with the, a lot of the stuff was just hard to understand. And, and today it's, it's more simple. It's simplified to our teachings. We're not, we're, we, we live by principles and it's not really complicated. You know, the, the information that we, we understand, you know, God's kingdom, what it will do for the future promises and Isaiah revelation, you know, and that, you know, we, we do believe that Jesus took the reign in, in heaven, you know, he was resurrected in heaven in 1914 uh he he took the uh, 1919 he took uh, became the king of the kingdom of the, uh, you know yeah they chose jesus around. chose them as his, uh, the only true organization in 1919. Did, you mean did jesus tell us yeah well, that's what their that's what their literature the says you looked at the prophecies oh. and talked about the time the gentiles would end and uh, I mean, you're going back to Daniel and different books that uh, uh, give us a timetable on when this would happen, you know. And uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, where do you put your trust? <laughs> uh, it, it, most people today, and I, I feel this way, people are very religious, but they still put their trust in man, okay, to bring about changes, to bring, I don't know, I, I just, when I talk to people, I just wonder, you know, they have the thought that they die, they go to heaven, that's it. There's no, no mention of earth, the paradise, some of the beautiful uh, promises that God made in the different books that eventually, what he, what he purposed in the beginning, will be fulfilled. I guess, I guess when I think of them, I, uh, like the organization, um, to me, um, I couldn't even imagine why anybody would trust it. They like, did you ever hear that verse, like um, being tossed about by every wind of doctrine and not to mention where Jesus warned of false prophets. I mean, they've predicted so many things. They're actually famous for being apocalyptic, you know, group with a lot of false so, predictions. I mean, do you follow any, anything mentioned by man if you if your beliefs do you follow anything do you read anything and take that to heart oh of course person? but i do you know okay. i was taught as a protestant okay. not to put it on the same weight as scripture and it's not any person or group channeling um direct from well, they god do. They, 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 the no they don't in that. oh yes they do not, they, they quote scripture and they say they tell you what's going to happen Oh yeah, okay. they have a certain view of eschatology, maybe, oh, yeah. but um, yeah, that's not saying uh, that's a different thing than predicting like a date or like say this generation will not die until all these things happen. So they had to change their definition of how long generation was about five or six times. They just make it longer, and I mean overlapping generation is really long because the other one was running out. You know, the 1914 generation. So they still have a that's a prediction. Do you know? Do they ever talk about when the 19 the overlap generation runs out i was kind of curious about that the, what the, the the thought of generation has somewhat changed too you know? well yeah the you overlapping know, I, i've been in the truth I, I i remember that that this generation will not mm -hmm. pass away yeah. until they see all the things they said it was okay. jehovah's promise they didn't say it was just our understanding but anyway um do you know when the overlap generation will run out i mean how long are they adding on to the other one is it 40 or how many years because it has to be like some definition to that. You just can't do that. I don't you know, know did you read anything on our website about it? <laughs> that when it would run out? No, but it must because how how are they defining a generation now? I mean, maybe they're just going to leave it open ended, so you don't really know when it's going to run out. Because since they've yeah. been burned so many times by um, their definition of generation, well, I tell you what. Why would you if you're on our website uh -huh. in, the, in the search bar, bar, bar in the search type in generation and see what comes up. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, you know, because it's not, not hidden stuff. I mean, you can go out there and you can search, you can type things in and look, and you can read maybe how that, that, that thought. <laughs> oh, I changed. did. I did. It was actually so, um, really, uh, <laughs> it's uh, one people refer to a lot, that, that new light, because to outside people, it's so patently obvious that 
it was not from Jehovah ever. And they're now they're just, they just had to think of something to make it longer. This. Sure. Let me ask you this simple question. Do you believe that God has a name? Um, the just word, a simple question. do you believe that God, I, has I know a name? about the Tetragrammaton, if that's what you're asking. Okay. So the Y H W H. What does that mean? W-H. What does that mean? Um, you, all, 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 it means, um, it, his eternal self-existence. Like I am. No, but what does that, the letters, the That's letters? a personal name. Yeah, I know. Name, right? I know. Yeah. Okay. Do you use that when you pray to God? Oh, sometimes. Sometimes. But I like how I, Jesus I, I like how Jesus modeled his model prayer says our father. So I kinda like to follow his oh, example there. But the Bible says that Jesus made God's name known. Yes. Do you know what look that, look that scripture up. Do you, you know what made known then? Where did he tell people to say uh you know, Jehovah? So, see, that's not really what he, he meant. He quoted. Wait, wait, let me ask. Wait, wait. If he quoted mm-hmm. from the Hebrew scriptures that used the Tetragrammaton, would he not have used God's name? He was using mostly the Septuagint. I'm just saying. There's no but existing the There's no existing Greek New Testament now, manuscript I, with I, the I, Tetragrammaton. I feel, though, you didn't just call to ask a question. You yes, I did. Argue, and I'm not going to argue. Well, you're okay. the one going asking me what name means. Why don't you look it up in Jewish thought that name means just that person? So what do you believe? What do you personally believe? I'm a mainstream Christian. I'm, main, I'm a mainstream Christian. And, okay. you know, uh, I believe salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And that I don't have to obey the slave to have eternal life, like your literature says. Eternal life. What? What, what, what it, when you say eternal life, what are you talking about? Eternal life is given to all yeah. who believe in Jesus, the Bible says. But what is that eternal life? What does that mean, eternal life? It means you won't die, and you're also made alive we're spiritually. On earth, heaven, where, where are you going to be? Um, you know, most Christians believe in a renewed earth and heaven. They We believe so, in both. What's the? So you go, how but it's not a core earth? doctrine. It's not a core doctrine because a lot of those verses that say, earth are also translated also sometimes by land the jews in the old testament okay, were promised I, I, a certain okay. land okay, but I, anyway I that's just, such a distraction i should have just taken a question and just left it go at that I, how do I you that you just want to argue how are you i'm not here to argue how are you your know? sins you wanna, they don't how are your huh? sins forgiven to me that's the main point of jesus dying and yeah, uh, for our sins sacrifice without that we don't we cannot have a relationship with god without Without, without Jesus, would he, the ransom sacrifice, him dying for us. We yeah. can never have that relationship with God without that the sacrifice. The the Bible doesn't teach the Watchtower definition of ransom sacrifice, um, which was postulated by Russell to mean that every almost everybody except like Hitler types will be resurrected to get a second okay, chance. I'm, I'm, to I, get a second chance. I, I don't want to hang up on you, but I'm, I don't want to argue. Well, you're I'm the just, one who keeps asking thought, me questions. <laughs> you called about a question. Right. You know, tell you the truth. I probably wouldn't leave. You would probably have to leave a message on my answering machine. Maybe you would have done that because this is, I'm at the Kingdom Hall. And normally, we don't pick up. I just Oh, okay. You don't okay. pick up? Okay. Would you have left the, no, no, it would have went to voicemail. So oh, I see. Left the voice, you probably would have left the message. If you have not done in the past. I have a funny feeling your voice sounds familiar. Oh, really? <laughs> Am I okay. right or wrong? Just yeah, clear. right. It's my territory. Okay. Uh-huh. So you got yeah. the message before, uh-huh. and you rattled on a lot of stuff. Right. Okay? Do you like I, them? I listened to it, but then I just deleted the message. Do you like them? Any and, of them? Huh? Do you, do you like the messages? No, 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 no. no. Oh, I'm you saying, don't? I, you you called before. Oh, I'm glad that you remember. I'm glad you want. remember about them. Did you have... Do you Your like... Voice. Do you it's like familiar? Do you like the messages I left? No, I don't know how many you left. Maybe one, two. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just monitor the, the messages. Right, right. Did you? Did it? You know? Did you think about what what, what they were saying? I like them. Yeah, I yeah. Like them. Oh, you don't like them? Okay. No, I don't, oh, I'm know. so sad about that. Well, don't be. Okay. <laughs> well, that's I'm neat that up. you remember hey, me. I appreciate day, it. Okay? God bless you. And if you leave another message, I will listen to it. Okay. But- Thank you. I will believe. God bless you. you. See ya.